Okay, so we're just doing a um, review of Find My Shift. And here we have the time slot shifts down the left hand side here on call and leave. <coughs> now everything's drag and drop. So you just left click if you want to move Steve from there over to that one. And let's move them back again. If I want to copy Steve onto that one there, you hold the shift key and drag and it just copies. Now we can um, copy a whole day by just dragging the date across and you can see here that these little yellow dots here these mean that um, this information has not been saved yet. So let me click save. It's gone. Now it's gone to a red dot and that's a red dot. Now the red dots mean that the information has not been published to um, as a proper roster yet. So we'll be able to see any changes. So the other thing we can do is right click and we can say delete Justine from that one and that's gone to yellow to show us it hasn't been saved so we'll just save that <coughs> so let's uh, delete this one here and save that and then let's copy the whole Friday to Saturday so that's well that's moved it actually so if we want to copy it we're going to have to hold the shift key down and let's copy it back and that's doubled up so we can easily see who's on which days and whether the shift is fully full you can change the number of weeks you look ahead or behind so it's currently set to 2 so we can scroll this way and see more of the weeks um, you can go to a certain date you've got different export options for printing them and saving the roster we can change uh, the information on the shifts here these are resources and then we've got options for publishing we can publish the current range so let's do that now you can see that the red dots have disappeared because this roster is now live and it's been posted now the really good thing about the system is that when you set up your staff and your resources you can set them up with email addresses and also their phone numbers and text messages for text messaging so that when the roster changes the system will send out text messages to let people know of the changes to the rosters and also their upcoming rosters uh, the system uses an outbox system here and these are all the current um, messages that need to go through roster updates roster updates you can um, request leave if you're requesting it and then it also says whether it's been approved or not there's another roster update so it's a, a great way to keep up to date with uh, the system payments for the system system add one month access is twenty dollars US two months access is three dollars thirty five etc etc all the way up to 12 months these are in US dollars and then you've got um, text messages as well and you can buy them in clumps of 10, 50, 100 or 200 and this keeps your staff up to date and you just pay with uh, PayPal which uses credit cards and stuff you've got a notice board you can post messages on there so let's go back to our roster Now we've got shift down the side here, or resource, or type of resource. We can change the view to uh, staff and days as well. 
So now when we come back to our shift, there are the resources down the left hand side here. And see Justine's a supervisor, Kim's a supervisor, Marty's just an operator, etc. And then it's got for them on what day, what shifts they're on and what else are they doing. So Marty's on call and she's on the 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. shift. You can see the annual leave, we can put col colours and stuff in here. For example, we can add a comment. We can also um, change the background. So there's lots of different things we can do. Um, for example, on Friday, um, for Kim, we might have a um, one-on-one. -on -one. And you can see that these yellow dots mean that this hasn't been saved to the roster yet. Uh, let's um, save that. So when it prints out, um, this is what the roster will look like in black and white. If you change your settings on your internet browser, you can get the colours as well. And that's it for, for completing your rostering. Very easy to use with drag and drop. Um, very easy. So let's move Lani down from there to there and move Marty up to there. And that was just with a left click and drag, so it's really quick to modify rosters. So all in all, it looks like a pretty good product. We got a 30-month, 30 30-day 30 trial, so thanks.